Hello, welcome to Kajos Consultants. My name is Joshua, and today I will be taking you through how you can analyze and interpret mean, median, and mode. Mean, median, and mode are all measures of central tendency, and statistically, central, central tendency is defined as the ability or the tendency of the of the va of values of a random variable to cluster around the mean, median, and mode. By the end of this session, you should be in a position to run the median, mode, and mean analysis, interpret the data, and select the best tendency based on how your data is distributed. So with me here is the data that I'll be using for this particular exercise. Here we have uh, five variables and uh, 41 samples uh, size for this activity. So to analyze your mean, median, and mode, simply move your cursor to the Analyze menu in the SPSS main menu and click on Analyze to display the menu where we have the descriptive statistics. At the descriptive statistics, put your cursor there and move to Frequencies, then click on Frequencies. Once you click on Frequencies, we are here now going to choose which frequency do we want to uh, calculate the mean or the median or the mode. So we can easily choose on uh, gender, then move on the arrow that is pointing to the right hand side, click on that arrow to move your gender variable to the variable box. Then uh, the statistic that we want to use, as I indicated earlier, is central tendency. So we are going to choose on statistics. So here we want to do central tendency. So we check all the boxes because under central tendency, we have mean, median, mode, and also we need the sum. Then it's also good to check on the minimum value and maximum value for that particular exercise. So once you have done all this, you can simply click on continue, then click on okay to activate the out viewer uh, uh, table. So on this out viewer part, we have uh, two tables generated. The first table will be having all the values for the central tendencies. And the second table will having all the values for uh, frequency. Uh, that is the frequency table. So here we have the mean gender was 1.41. Uh, median, we are having one mode, you're having one, then minimum value is one and maximum value, you have uh, two. So by minimum and maximum value, this was simply means if you go back to the data view on your SPSS, you can go back to the variable view and uh, check where we have the gender and click on the values part here. We have a value for number one. Number one is male, and then number two is a uh, female. So that is where we have the minimum is number one, that is male and maximum is two. Those are the values that we assigned for that particular uh, variable. So let's, let me take you back to the output view. So with a mean of uh, 1.41, then, uh, median of one. So median value simply mean we have, uh, you arrange all the values in either descending, descending simply means from largest to smallest and ascending from smallest to largest. That is, then you select the value that is on the middle part. For the mode, mode is simply the value that is uh, having the highest number of frequencies. For this case, you have the male having highest number of frequencies, 24, and uh, can only see female were only 17. So our model value is still be one. Our mean will be 1.41. Simply there were so very many, or there were many male members for this activity as opposed to, to male or to female. So for this particular exercise, therefore, if you are choosing, we can either go by a mean, median, or more because we didn't really have extreme values. We had only one and two. So there were no extreme values here that can prompt us to reject the, the mean value. Let us run another analysis. 
and uh, see how it displays out. Analysis, then go to descriptive statistics, then on frequencies, click on frequencies, then can now take this other uh, one to this other side and click on edge. Once you click on edge, you take the move the edge with the arrow to the variable side, click on statistics. You can see they are already been selected because we did that when we are doing our first one. Click on continue, then okay to display the output view. Here we have the mean of uh, 2.73. Uh, shows that uh, just a minute, median of two, mode of two, and as I explained earlier, with the mean of 2.73, and where we have our minimum value of one and our maximum value of two, we are simply tell us that most of the values were concentrated on, on the, uh, between uh, the second one and uh, the third values. So we have frequencies of 15, uh, that is for 25 to 35 years, then frequencies of uh, nine, that is for 36 to 40. Five years, then median of two, we arrange all the values in descending or ascending order. We get the, the middle value as uh, for this uh, data to be between 25 to 35 years. Mode, still the same, we find the mode of two, simply tells us that the, the age category with the highest number of frequencies were 25 to 35 years then minimum of one and uh, maximum of five. We come to our variable view. This one can tell it all. We have the minimum value of one, that is for those who are between below, those who are below 25 and a maximum of 50, six and above years that those who are assigned the value of five. So you can repeat this particular exercise for all the value that you want. So you just click on frequency, then uh, can choose the value that you have no, no, you have not done with uh, education, uh, work experience, marital status. You can have them, then you can return this edge to this other side. Click on statistics, then uh, continue. Okay, to generate our tables. Here, education level. Uh, just a little bit, you have the central tendency table. You have the mean for education level as 1.95. Work experience mean is 1.71 and marital status is 1.90. So with this, we find the education level, the mode, the median was two. The minimum value for this was one and the maximum value for this was two in the mode of, of two. So if you check also on the variable view side for this data, uh, for education level, we found our minimum was diploma, maximum was postgraduate, assigned the value of one to three. So we come and uh, check on this output view. So if you arrange all the values in an ascending order, we found the median value was two and two was for a university degree. So you find uh, the middle value, if you arrange this value either in ascending or descending order, we find 25. So the model for that was still two, which means most of the our values, almost of the participants were following the category of university degree, and that is what their level of education for that exercise. You check work experience, you find the same values all through, mean of 1.71, mode of two, and let us check our work experience, the values that we assigned them. When we come here, less than five years, we gave uh, some the value of one, two, we send the that for five to 10 years, send the value of two and above 10 years, send the value of three. So we find all this data in that manner all through. So this is how you can run your central tendency and uh, come up with the mean, 
median and mode. Kindly remember to click on the subscription bar tab on the sub subscription tab below to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can be getting any instant update whenever we upload new tutorial for this uh, particular uh, tutorials on data anal analysis. Thank you very much and have a nice time today.